What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Anything But ASIC. And today, uh, this one is about WikiLeaks and cryptocurrency. Um, this one was published December, tw- December 15th, uh, 2021. So this one's still pretty fresh. Um, but today I was going over um, to Wikipedia. And this big blue sign came up that said, hey, donate to Wikipedia. And I didn't want to donate donate to Wikipedia with uh, fiat dollars. And you go try to donate to Wikipedia, they immediately try to push you into like PayPal and using visas, things that would like, you know, identify you. Maybe most likely so you can get a tax write off. But I don't really want to go through the hassle of doing that. I just want to like see an address, a cryptocurrency address or, or just some direct payment, you know, or see a cryptocurrency address and just throw uh, crypto at it. You know, maybe some uh, Zcash, some Monero. But um, this came up as well. This came up I, in the search engine. I came up on this WikiLeaks article. Uh, WikiLeaks has received $2 million, $2 million in cryptocurrency donations. And it didn't say when or where, but um, I'm going to go ahead and read this article. It's pretty short. Uh, WikiLeaks is a well-known international nonprofit recent Recently received over $2.2 million in cryptocurrency donations. The organization has accepted finance, financing in Bitcoin, Monero, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Ethereum, Zcash. Following, following its multiple confrontations with international and government organizations. So this was pretty much one of the bigger points of cryptocurrency in general. If, uh, uh, what was it? Um, uh, what's his name? The Jones... The uh, the f- green frog guy, whatever his name is, a I will call him A Jones because uh, YouTube, and um, I, I think uh, Joe Rogan as well. They they've been cut off at the knees some at some point, and what they have backing them was uh Bitcoin, Monero, and maybe some Litecoin and Ethereum, and they just weren't able to shut them down with that. Uh, let's see. And this goes the same for WikiLeaks and maybe Wikipedia. I don't think Craigslist will be getting on it, but uh, the Bitcoin address has, continue with the article, the Bitcoin address has 30.45 BTC, which is currently worth $1.51 million plus a reserve of 9 BTC, whilst the Bitcoin Cash address has 225.2 BHC, which is currently worth around 101 800 dollars the coins have not shown any movement also the litecoin address has 163.707 litecoin on its public balance which is currently worth around $25,680 USD with nothing sent out yet but the zcash account has 84.01 zcash on its visible balance with nothing transferred out yet with the ethereum 145.45 ethereum worth of uh, worth about at about uh 587,883 usd wikileaks ether address piece appears to be the second most popular donation site wikileaks has received a total of a little more than 2.2 million dollars wikileaks is based in the united kingdom they publish classified information and media leaks Obtained from anonymous sources, Julian Paul Assange and Australian activist, publisher, and editor founded the group in 2006. Julian was detained in London in 2019 after being charged in the United States in 2010 with attempting to hack into the Pentagon's computer network. It relies on donations from individuals and businesses to fund its mission and operations, however. Several providers have refused to fund the organization since they publish very sensitive information on a variety of things. Visa, MasterCard, Amex, and other credit cards are examples. This is why they've turned to cryptocurrencies, the only form of currency that can't be censored. So far. <sighs> WikiLeaks is supported by individuals and organizations who believe in its missions and activities. Several companies, on the other hand, have dropped support for the group after disclosing high sensitive material on a variety of themes. This would include American Express, MasterCard, and Visa, among others. 
As a result, they resorted to a to the sole non sensible form of exchange, namely Bitcoin, according to WikiLeaks website. Bitcoin, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, Ca- Ethereum Zcash, and Monero are currently available for charity corporate contributions. Yeah. Julian Assange, founder of WikiLeaks, said that in 2017 the organization had achieved a 50% 50,000 percent profit on Bitcoin since investing in the cryptocurrency in 2010. Surprisingly, the tweet claiming that this was sent out on in October 2017 when the price of Bitcoin was hovering around $5,000, given that BTC peaked at roughly 20k at the time, the number would have been closer to 200k percent RI later that year. Julian Paul Assange, an Australian activist, publisher, editor, launched WikiLeaks like 2006, who's arrested in London, blah, blah, blah. It repeated itself. So it's weird. But anyways, point being is this is what Bitcoin, Monero, all these cryptocurrencies are for. When the, the spooks, the 333s, the glowies, and the big peop, the big corpse, corpse, the big suits decide that they don't want to, they don't want to fund you. They don't want anything to do with you, but, and, and you're too dangerous, you know. But the information has to get out. Your, the, your voice has to be heard, and it's better that we see the truth instead of just floating around in all these lies that we're currently in today where we can't really decipher what's real and what's not real. So, I I, I haven't donated to WikiLeaks. I'm trying to donate to Wikipedia. I'm going to go to Wikipedia house. I, I was trying to donate to it. <clears throat> so I went here and I was like, can you donate to Wikipedia? And re- I read through this, blah, 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 blah. And basically what it does is it sends you to now payments. And you click on now payments and how can I accept crypto? Basically, you have to jump through some really, really nasty hoops. I think they're going to KYC you. Now payments. Now payments. I guess just run you in a freaking circle. Yeah, I just run you in a circle. Freaking more now payments. Blah, 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 blah. But uh, and I was searching for this, and I came down here. So here's the easy way to donate to Wikipedia. Now, remember when I was collecting my shekels right here with BAT token? Well, apparently, you could donate your basic attention token to Wikipedia. They are a um, basic attention token verified creator. And you simply just come up here and let's see, you go to Wikipedia. Let me go to Wikipedia real quick. Uh, WikiLeaks, Wikipedia. Blah, 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 blah. Let's type it in. Let's go there. I was looking up what brown doors are. We ask you to humbly don't scroll away. Donate to us. This is what popped up. And it's either forcing you to PayPal, forcing you to Visa. Close. Now, like I said, you click up here, the little blue arrow show up. Blue check mark. This is blue check mark. And it's a verified creator. And you send a tip. Now, me personally, I've already selected uh, to donate monthly uh, the bat tokens that I happen to scrape up. Uh, fortunately, I don't scrape up too many, although I am building up more. But um, I want to keep WikiLeaks, uh, Wiki, not WikiLeaks, what's it called? Wikipedia around. It's been around. And if I was looking on Reddit correctly, um, a lot of people would say that they, they've sourced things from here for uh, a lot of class projects and is accepted in a lot of college courses as a verifiable source of information. And people pass. They pass their classes with it. And, you know, it, you can edit it. Anybody can come in and edit it, but um, I just don't want to keep around. I want to definitely keep around. So, um, uh, what do you guys think? Will you be using your bat tokens? Are you collecting those bat tokens? Are you just letting them sit there? Or what are you guys doing? Let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys some other time.